Amen. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I seek leave to move a motion without notice to acknowledge the death of Sir Wilson Winneray. Is there any objection to that course of action being followed? There is no objection. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I move that this House express its sadness at the passing of all black great Sir Wilson Winneray in Auckland on the 22nd of October, aged 77. Sir Wilson Winneray was New Zealand's longest serving captain of the All Blacks and a leading businessman. It was with much sadness and deep regret that I learnt of his death yesterday afternoon. I knew Sir Wilson and, like many other New Zealanders, respected him immensely. Sir Wilson played 77 All Black matches between 1957 and 1965, including 32 tests. He captained the side 67 times, a remarkable feat given the All Blacks played only two or three test matches a year at that time. He may well have been the greatest All Black captain we've ever had. Sir Wilson was named New Zealand Sportsman of the Year in 1965 and was knighted in 1998 for services to sport and business management. Regarded as one of the great All Black legends, Sir Wilson made significant contributions to the community through his work with sport, charities and business. His business acumen was hugely respected. He made his mark at APN the New Zealand Wool Marketing Corporation, National Bank and Auckland International Airport, although most of us remember his time at the helm of Carter Holt Harvey. It is fitting that the only biography of Sir Wilson was titled A Perfect Gentleman. He was the rare breed of man whose modesty and humility gave no hint of the greatness he had achieved. He lived life to the full and one of his favourite lines was that he did not regret a single day in his life. This is a loss all of New Zealand will feel. Sir Wilson is survived by his wife Lady Elizabeth, his son James, two daughters Kristen and Susan and five grandchildren. Our thoughts are with them at this sad time. On behalf of this House I also extend my deep sympathy and condolences to the friends, former teammates and colleagues of Sir Wilson. May he rest in peace. The question is that the motion be agreed to the Leader of the Opposition.